My name is Charlie Tilt, and um, I am acting as CEO currently. And my wife and I have been the co-owners of Hummingbird since 2003. So we, we were aware that we needed an exit plan. At that time, I think it was sort of an assumed that we would sell the company to somebody else. Um, but also we were investing in the company every year. We didn't take the money from the company. We continued to reinvest in growth. And we had extensive growth, and so there was a lot of need for capital. Uh, and we both borrowed money and reinvested our own uh, profitability from the company. Um, and then there was this, what's the impact on everybody who works here? And that became more and more profoundly uh, important a question as the people who came were more committed, um, more skilled, um, and you know, I felt uh, both at the level of the professionals who work there, but also the individuals who've been here 12 years, that impact of the change of ownership would have a significant consequence on other people. So trying to think, well, how do I manage that in a useful way and still take care of what Julie and I needed um, was kind of where we ended up with the idea of, of employee ownership. I looked into ESOP, I contacted people who had uh, helped create the legal format for that and talked to them about how that fit for a company. I'd, I tried, but each of those individual investigations is a tremendous effort to have a journey of discovery and followed by uh, this fits or doesn't fit. And, and it was exhausting to try and fit that in as a business owner along with all the other challenges that a business brings up in a day-to-day -day way. And so I was like, I'm not going to get this done in a timely fashion, A, and I, I'm going to doubt the outcome. Uh, and so it really was the relationship with Project Equity that helped me dive into this in the way that it's uh, important and essential. The employee ownership governance model comes responsive to the needs of the employees rather than the company doing whatever it does and the employees being the consequence of that. That's truly very exciting. I believe that the strength of the company comes from the cohesive interaction of a team of people, none of whom are the superstar. That is the most interesting and positive experience for me as an individual is to be part of a team and not be the leader at the, at the top who doesn't know all of what's happening but somehow is supposed to be responsible for it all turning out well. So I would rather have us uh, succeed as a team and, um, and I think the ownership model supports that in a 100% way. The way that I feel about the employee ownership is mostly privileged. Charlie is so dear to me and so thoughtful and this just keeps it going. Now I have extra fuel to put in that extra effort every day in all the little things and try to help others do the same. As a company and in a warehouse environment especially where you're material handling in large volumes, this place has more of an adherence to safety and wellness than almost anywhere else that I've been and I've been in several other environments so as people also get to have the idea that their effort and their care that they put in at work is going to be returned in a monetary fashion perhaps like, then they get to add a little bit more to it and then it's this snowballing effect we get to enjoy ourselves more, get compensated more, and just care more about what we do while being cared for by the people around us. And that makes every day more fun to be here. I'm no longer the most important person. And that change is a requirement of my participating in the actual uh, exchange, if you will. Uh, so if I'm not ready to offer that, then I shouldn't offer it. And if I am ready, to, then I need to be ready to to handle the consequences um, emotionally and intellectually, I guess. Yeah, so that, that's the personal side of it. On the business side, I am able to also protect the interest that I have in the company being successful because I want the money that, that it owes me, right? And so I have a vested and common interest with everybody else in being successful still. It's not like I'm, I'm there as a hanger on. Um, and so that motivation and interest remains exciting and interesting. Unlike anywhere that I've been and worked prior, I get to completely trust each and every one of my coworkers. And that is such an amazing feeling. I can't explain how good it is to just come in every day and trust that everybody is trying to do their best. And that is really special. I would like to see this be an idea that works so that others can start doing this. 
And if it does work out well for us and we succeed in this way and prosper, then it's going to be that much easier for others to take this leap and move in a direction of employee-owned trust.